this week's portion, Kitetse, contains the most amount of mitzvot, commandments, of any of the portions in the entire Torah. Seventy-two of the 613 commandments are found in this week's Torah portion. Uh, and the interesting idea about how all these mitzvot are arranged and how the portion itself is arranged uh, in the Torah is why the entire list of mitzvot ends with this very harsh and drastic commandment to totally annihilate the nation of Amalek. We are reminded, Zachor et asher asalacha Amalek bederech betzeitchem imitzrayim, remember what Amalek did to you on the way when you left Egypt. And if we look back in the book of Exodus, we remember that just a couple of days after crossing the sea, the people are confronted from behind, not in the usual way of people and soldiers confronting each other in war face to face. Amalek attacked from the rear and uh, Israel miraculously prevailed over them by the miracle of having uh, two men, Joshua and Hur, holding Moses's arms up in the air throughout the entire battle so that while his arms were raised, the people of Israel were defeating the Amalekites. And here we are reminded again to ensure that when they enter the land of Israel, that they totally annihilate the nation of Amalek. And it raises a question as to what it is doing here in this portion, which for the most part focuses on civil legislation, things to do in business and in other ways in which people relate to one another to ensure a just society. And so one of the commentaries that is listed in the Eitz Chaim about this portion raises that question, what is the Amalek um, mitzvah doing at the end of the portion? Why end a beautiful portion focusing on how everyone can can be and can assured to be to loved and treated compassionately in the community with this very harsh mitzvah. And the one commentary, a collection of midrashim known as the Tanhuma, suggests that the that the section before talks about just having uh, equal weights and measures to ensure that in the marketplace when conducting business that the weights and measures used on this scale are appropriate uh, for one and all and that uh, vendors would not be playing with the scales and consumers would know that they can trust all the vendors and then we follow with Amalek and so the, according to the Tanhuma the idea is that if a society does not have the just weights and measures, and therefore, by extension, do not treat each other, people in society do not treat each other with respect, then we end up being like a nation of Amalek, worthy of destruction. And so the bigger point that the Torah is trying to teach us is that we should never uh, stoop low and become the nation of Amalek, rather, rather we should aim high and maintain the goal of being a righteous people of Israel. Shabbat Shalom.